This video is going to be a little bit different in the way that it's not just about a single game. It's about one of the coolest collaborations between two separate projects that I have ever witnessed. Automation, the car company tycoon game. It is, in fact, a game about making the most impractical, godforsaken piece of dog shit vehicles one has the stomach to conjure and selling them off for an exorbitant sum. PCP options available. If automation was around when I was a kid, it probably would have ruined my life. I'm not a massive car guy, but I did always have a fascination with them to a certain extent. And I am here to tell you that if you are anything like me in this regard, then you really need to see the sorts of things that automation allows you to do. Because the game by itself is already unlike anything else I've ever seen. And the fact that you can export your projects into BeamNG Drive on top of that is frankly incredible. There are hundreds of hours to be wasted doing this. I've made anything from serious designs to cars that were created to be absolute dog shit from the very beginning. And in this video, we're going to explore some of the latter. Because, by god, I've made some absolute specimen cars in this game. I've made a few cars just for this video, and also went back and found some old designs that I made years ago. So without further ado, let's exploit the Earth's finite resources and cheat on some emissions tests in automation. There is this big complexity elephant in the room that I should probably acknowledge. Some people watching this video that have never heard of automation before, for whom the idea of a game where you design your own cars sounds enticing, may have already been turned off this game, either because they don't really know that much about the mechanical workings of how cars work, or because of all the graphs and spreadsheets that the game throws at you around every corner. And to those viewers, I have good news. Not only does automation provide plenty of information in the form of tool tips and hints that makes it easy for literal apes like myself to bang together a 12% efficiency rated engine here and there, it also doesn't force you to do any of it. If you want to just make cars that look pretty in the game's photo mode, there is nothing stopping you from skipping directly to the body editor. Just don't expect it to drive well if you choose to export it to BeamNG Drive. If even drive at all. That's kind of the beauty of automation. All of the complexity is there for those who want to engage with it, including a campaign that's just way too much for my smooth brain to handle. But it's a true sandbox game in the way that, when it comes down to it, you can do whatever the hell you want. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Allow me to show you the inner workings of Scav Merchant Autonomous Hub, where our only motto is it go bang and vrooms. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to our annual investors meeting. As you may already know, Scav Merchant Autonomous Hub has a fascinatingly wide, powerful, and diverse legacy. And the thing that makes our success even more poignant is the history of our humble beginnings. Once upon a time, amidst the dank, musty atmosphere of my mother's basement, I conceptualized the idea behind the perfect vehicle. Times were a little more desperate back then, you see, and I looked upon the Eastern Bloc countries for inspiration. How could I provide the working man with a car, nay, a carriage, akin to the majesty of the Trabant, or the practicality of the Yugo? How could I evoke the feeling one gets while driving this hypothetical whip of the gods as to that of a freshly baked loaf of bread? The answer, as you all know, was the bread comfort. This car truly was a miracle imbued upon me by the gods. 
It's 25 horsepower, coupled with a weight of just over one and a half tons, had even the toughest of men weeping behind the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and seeing how immensely successful it was with two units sold across the span of 30 years, one of which is owned by myself, I think it is time to re-envision the bread comfort for the modern market. So let us not waste any more time. Allow us to begin the designing of the Bread Comfort Legacy Edition. I have just two specifications for the Bread successor. It has to be cheap, and it has to somewhat resemble the original car, albeit with a more modern aesthetic. Which came first, the chicken coop or the egg? Coop. To start with, keeping in mind that this is a car for the masses, and that we want to reduce costs where possible, we will be using nothing but the finest steel that China has to offer for the body panels and chassis. After all, what is the point of using any corrosion-resistant materials if you can just buy new replacement body panels for around 5 bucks a pop? That's the sort of Sigma mindset that is required to survive in this industry for over 30 years. Since this is going to be a family-oriented, front-wheel drive a vehicle, a front transverse engine placement will be more than sufficient. A transverse engine placement has the disadvantage of taking up more cabin space with most orthodox engine types compared to longitudinal, the latter of which would also allow for rear-wheel drive if so desired. However, as we will soon see, space in the engine bay isn't going to be much of a concern. And finally, for the suspension, while I would really have liked to pick the cheapest options available, the axle coil and leaf suspension has the disadvantage of having an unacceptable minimum ride height. And since this is the new, sexy re-envisioning of the classic bread comfort, we at Scav Merchant Autonomous Hub have made the difficult decision of using the more expensive combination of McPherson strut in front and semi-trailing arm in back, the blueprints for which were thankfully supplied to us by our espionage department. Which then brings us to the heart and soul of the Legacy Edition bread comfort comfort the engine. I do not wish to bore you with the details of our newest hub tech powertrain. I do not want to give away too many of our secrets after all. However, I am proud to say that we are keeping true to our company values of providing the everyman with the cheapest, most reliable engine on the market. An engine that costs a mere $265 to produce. If that isn't up to autonomous hub specifications, then I don't know what is. The new Bread Comfort is powered by a massive 420cc three-cylinder beast of a motor, generating a whopping 14.3 brake horsepower. Just to listen to that baby purr. Extravagant. Just don't redline it too often if you want it to last long. And if you think that the stats of the engine so far are too good to be true, just wait and see what we discovered during testing. Next, of course, is the design of the car itself. The primary color of the Legacy Edition has to, of course, mirror the Ferrari red of its predecessor. However, I ask you, dear viewer and investor, what is a type of material that is both lighter and cheaper than steel? Plastic is necessary in the pursuit of our goals. Any panel that wasn't deemed unsafe by the NCAP has been replaced with beautiful mid-market plastic. And the cool thing about it is that it'll even change color if you leave it out in the sun. It may even change shape. What other car on the market today will do that? Now for the fixtures. The Legacy Edition has to look like the original Bread Comfort, of course. With that philosophy in mind, I have recreated three of its most iconic features and applied them to this new car. Those being the lights, the iconic toaster grill, and the radio antenna. Unfortunately, a sacrifice had to be made with the wing mirrors, because even a great car company like Scav Merchant Autonomous Hub has a budget. With all of these new pesky safety standards that require us to include fog lights and body-mounted rear brake lights as standard, we have to skimp out on the mirrors. 
We got these on the cheapest surplus from Gas Global. And last, but certainly not least, it is time for the drivetrain and undercarriage. Whereas the original car housed a robust, reliable three-gear manual transmission, our amazing research and development team has been working hard over the last 30 years to develop an incredible, groundbreaking fourth gear. That's right, you heard me correctly. Really a first in the automotive industry of 2023. I again do not wish to bore you with too many details. However, some of the highlights in this department include a 100mm front tire width made of a tried-and-true cross-ply utility compound. The Legacy Edition also includes a three-seat bench at the front, as well as an AM radio, non-powered steering and seat belts. A first for the brand. And with that, I, on the behalf of SCAF Merchant Autonomous Hub, am proud to present to you the unveiling of the Red Comfort. Legacy Edition. And there we have it, the Bread Comfort Legacy Edition. And the next step in this journey is to try and convince you, the investor, as to why the new Bread Comfort is the car of the future. I'm sure you won't need a lot of convincing. Why the fuck is the Bread Comfort so big? <laughs> it's a fucking boat. So here, here's some things I try to keep similar, right? Uh, so yes. this has like these round, iconic headlights, right? coupled with this grill so you get double the lights triple even if you, if you want to include the fog lights right yeah you'll need those this didn't have fog lights because car didn't start in the fog <laughs> i mean if, yeah. you're, if your top speed is like 30 miles an hour do you really need fog lights right yeah. <laughs> we kind of skimped out on the mirrors this was taken off of like ural truck fucking russian like military truck surplus mirror. pop those in like you people don't probably use them anyway right i just picked like utility hob okay. like these what? <laughs> <laughs> so just fucking plastic pieces of shit it's a shame the game doesn't have plastic stick-ons yeah <laughs> actual, actual hobcaps like oh, these tires good stone <laughs> good stone <laughs> Uh, I, I kept uh, the tire diameter kind of similar, you know, these are pretty thin tires. I don't think they're as thin, they're, they're you know, you, you want a bit more grip because as, as it turns out, this car has a bit more power. Uh. What about the back here? The, the back I kind of tried to do similar kind of lights, kind of square yeah. theme with like external things. Uh, there is a reverse light, it's up here though, so with a, with a top brake light, because uh, yeah. we, we need to make this legal, right, you know? Just legal car. What's know. that? That is. <laughs> That's what is that? <laughs> we'll, we'll ignore that. <laughs> uh -huh. um, th that might just be. I might have just dropped some fucking paint on it by accident. How did sure. that make out the comfort quality control system? <laughs> it's just fucking chunks missing. Oh my god. Yeah. Fucking bird living in it. Yeah. Just for reference, let's go on. Let her loose. Go on, babe. <laughs> Nutter. I don't remember how much the original Comfort weighs. I'm sure there's a way to check in BeamNG. So we're at 25 miles per hour, I'm, I've got the throttle all the way down and we're struggling, right? <laughs> Lord knows you don't need more than 26. Fuel consumption right now is 20 miles per gallon, which is... it's not horrible. <laughs> I've seen worse. <laughs> yeah, this, this could be much worse, I mean, you know. Uh, the, the 10 liter fuel tank will get you a little ways. Oh, stops on a dime, by the way. Now, this is where shit gets goofy, right? <laughs> Have you got a box yeah. or engine in that? Like an inline? No, it's, um... <laughs> it's a three-cylinder. And it's, oh, right, okay. it's 420cc. What? <laughs> Are you utilizing those horses? <laughs> it makes just under 15 horsepower. There it is. Okay. <laughs> right. 
and naturally aspirated uses a carburetor. Prepare, prepare for this, right? Okay. Look at him, like your thing. I can see your itchy trigger finger on the, <laughs> on the thing. <laughs> like, so, so here's the thing. I don't know how much the original original bread comfort weighs, yeah. but I have a feeling it's a fairly chunky boy, right? I mean, just look at the fucking size of it. This thing weighs 720 kilos. What? It's pretty light, and I was using like. All the heaviest fucking materials, like it's it's all steel and shit. What would bring the weight down like that? I, th I have a feeling it's the small engine. Ah, uh, yeah, that would do it. 420 cc is pretty small. That's a lot of mass that's not in the car. I want me to point. I want me to point your attention to revs at the at the moment. Look at how high it's it's uh, idle. It's I <laughs> yeah, idles at 1.6 k. That was that was a conscious decision uh, on a scav merchant autonomous hub. It leads to um, optimal starting performance. I'd also like to point out the throttle response, right? I'm gonna just, just drop the foot on the accelerator right now. Watch this. That's fair. That's smooth. That is excellent. I, I must say. Oh, here we go. You won't be, you're not ready for this, right? Brett's come back. <laughs> <laughs> right. Watch what happens when I drop the clutch. That's fucking crazy, right? That's Look, it's just fucking raring to go. All right, here we go. <coughs> oh. Oh. Let's go four gears. Okay. It's just one more than the original. <laughs> Which is good because, you know, customer research and all, we found that most of our drivers can handle more than five anyways. So. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to point out that I am flooring it and I am doing almost 60 miles per gallon. Brilliant. That is incredible. This is truly like the... the <laughs> that scrap heap. The, the, pe the people's car. <laughs> the, fucking the people's... Wagen auf Volk. Add a little bit of text under legacy that says the people's car. With a period. The Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> see, how, see how long it takes me before I get sued. I'm in fourth gear flooring at 54 miles per hour, I'm making 70 miles per gallon. That's better than like most. That's better than Volkswagen. Oh yeah. The investors are very pleased. And with that, surely the story of the bread comfort has come to an end. Right? Saul Goodman, speedy justice for you. Hey, it's me. Listen, I need help. One of my most trusted investors is trying to run me out of the business, man. The bread comfort. You know it? No. What do you mean, no? Well, look, it's a cut and dry case of copyright infringement. I need you to get over here. Hello? What the fuck is that noise? Oh my god. Only moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> How much does this car weigh? Probably not too much. <laughs> How much? <laughs> Just like right. It's all. It's all part of the tech. It all works itself out on the road. How the fuck is that even possible? What the fuck did you put in this thing? <laughs> Listen, that's the best bit. Look at the size. Quality? Okay, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. I think I needed to do quality for something. So it doesn't explode, probably? Yeah, so it didn't explode. Okay, that, that's minus 15 quality, that's fine. That's good. Yeah. All cheap, just... all cheap shit, that's good. And if you zoom into the metal, actually, at the top, and that you notice this rust, 
Oh, very nice. <laughs> VV2, ooh, <laughs> we're going oh, fucking... Sorry, sorry. Mm. Just trying to outbid Hoptech as a game. Outbid? <laughs> Getting the Chinese supply chain. Carburetor single barrel, okay, okay, standard low. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> right, look. <laughs> Bro, it's like we fucking don't... racing petrol. <laughs> this is... 110 raw, and we get fucking 95 at the pump. <laughs> <laughs> we have a deal with China, oh. red cup, and we have like pump stations called uh, bread baskets. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Stationed across the country, supplying our <laughs> totally 100% leaded <laughs> AV gas. <laughs> One one time. <laughs> it's gonna be a new generation of children born with fucking diseases from that. Seeping <laughs> <laughs> in through the fucking air filler. You're not even allowed a catalytic converter in this. What the hell did you do? Jesus. So we have the lead. Oh, it's because it's leaded, right, of course. It's lead. You can't help that. With Stuart so... Purr. Okay. <laughs> Clean phone. Look at it. Look at all the headers and the cumber. It's all 100. Look at that. Audi couldn't do that. That'll last forever. And you'll notice if you go to the back, oh, there's been some uh, <laughs> toaster prongs. It's pretty genius actually, because they will act like wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a little bread box to keep a loaf. Bread box. And the, the rusty exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out of the factory fucking rusted, it's just <laughs> pure iron. I love it because a, a mechanic would go under the sh chassis and look at it and they'd see like a brand new frame. Uh. And <laughs> just a rusty exhaust. <laughs> Automatic Automa <laughs> 2! What yeah. the fuck? How much did increased drivability? Oh, that that is his top speed, Jesus, 55. Yeah. That's insanity. Cross ply altering this, I find. Steel. Drum brakes, nice. Good. No, it's just the only option. <laughs> <laughs> Automation knew what I was doing from the start. <laughs> it didn't even. Handmade luxury <laughs> interior. <laughs> Fucking luxury AM radio. Oh my god. 15 plus quality. Okay, I can see where the costs are going up. Okay. Listen, <laughs> we can lower it. We can even remove the front seats. It weighs basically nothing too, though. I think that weighs less than my version. What's the emissions like? Where's that? It's <laughs> that said non purpose. That's what the. Oh, it just stole. Right, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Fuck. There's kind of an art to this, but once it's going, it's like good. Just try and get on like a hill. <laughs> 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 uh, try turning off the um, uh, what's the H thing? Low gears, okay. Uh, I'll rev it. Right, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is a trick to it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, it, it didn't go to Mars with like uh, the moon, like an Xbox controller, you know? <laughs> just, uh, yeah, just keep driving. Oh, switch it, switch it out of low gear mode. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's full. But as you drive, if you drive in a straight line, this car will go into sub mile per gallon. Oh, slow down, boy. <laughs> I don't know why we're not seeing the more minus. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck you did that, was crazy. I found as I went uphill, it started to drop. <laughs> 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 I mean, I didn't doctor the screenshot. <laughs> like, it was, like, legitimately in the negative. Can economy gate. <laughs> oh, ooh, you dirty slut. Look <laughs> 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 at the fucking smoke it's spilling out. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, that so is it. fucking incredible, that. <laughs> but the fact it didn't turn her. <laughs> no, but look how fucking oh. safe it is, dude. Yeah, that's insane. That was how long the engine's been stably running while the radiator is fucked. <laughs> it's, it's maximum it heat's probably like fucking 20 degrees or something. Yeah, it doesn't need a radiator. Like. Oh! Fuck. <laughs> oh my goodness. This thing is like a beast. Does it handle look? Yeah, it's not too bad. You gave this like a 50 horsepower engine, it used to be a monster. And thus, the story of Scav Merchant Autonomous Hub comes to an end with a settlement out of court between Scav Merchant Hub and Daddy Jesus 123. 
If you are a car enjoyer, then automation is definitely a game you should have on your radar. Because even omitting the BeamNG compatibility, this game fulfills a long forgotten childhood dream of mine. Whereas I like to make serious designs here and there, competing them in time trials against each other, by far the most fun I've had with automation has been creating these mini competitions with friends to see who can make the nastiest lemon possible. And one thing that I haven't really mentioned yet that makes this a hassle-free experience is that exporting your car designs for your friends to use is as easy as clicking a button and sending a small file through Discord. So what are you waiting for? Start your own Kerbal-esque car design adventure today. <laughs> Subscribe to me. Scav Merchant Hub. On YouTube, thank you, cringe. Oh.